I am now going to replace the two wall lights behind me with these two up lighters. This should be a relatively simple job. The most important thing is that you isolate the circuit correctly. So I'm going to show you how to do the correct isolation and then we're going to replace these wall lights for some new up lighters. So you'll see that the wall lights are now switched on. I'm now going to go to the consumer unit and I'm going to isolate the correct circuit breaker. So this is the consumer unit and you can see that the downstairs lights are clearly identified. But you should never take it for granted that that switch isolates all the downstairs lighting circuit. You always need to check. So we're just going to isolate that switch. And you can now see that the lights have gone off. So we have found the correct circuit breaker. So what we need to do now is lock the circuit breaker off. We can then lock off the MCB using a lock off. So we can now put the padlock through there and there is no chance of anybody switching that circuit back on whilst we are working on it. As an extra precaution, we're just going to put a label on there that says do not switch on. It's a good idea doing this if you live in an house where somebody may come in and switch the electricity on whilst you're working on it. We've then got a small Phillips screw at each side and we just need to loosen those. We can then twist and remove the wall light from the retaining bracket. Once you've done that, it exposes the actual wires that are connecting the wall light up to the lighting circuit. Before we touch any of the wires or any of the terminals, we're going to ensure that they are dead using this GS38 approved voltage tester. Before we use this, we're going to test it's working by pressing the auto test button can see that that is working. Now we're going to take the tester and we're going to test between live and neutral, live and earth and neutral and earth. And you can see that there is no voltage there at all so we are completely safe to work on this circuit. And that is the old light removed. This is the new light fitting that's going up. And as you can see, here we have a bracket that needs fixing to the wall. So I'm going to remove this from the actual light and we'll fix that to the wall first. Because of the design of the new light, we can't actually just swap that bracket over for that bracket. If we do that, the actual cable that we require for the light is above our light fitting. So the only thing we can do is we can move this back plate either up to that side or up to that side. I know for a fact that the cable comes down the wall but it does look like it may go up a bit that way so for that reason I'm going to actually fix this fixing bracket to this side of this cable. So I'm just going to remove the old bracket so that's the old bracket removed. We're just going to check now with this light and that will go approximately there and that should quite easily cover up the existing holes from the old bracket. I've now got an old envelope here and I've just stuffed a bit of paper in the bottom of it to keep it open and then I've put a piece of masking tape on the top. We can then stick that on the wall where we're going to be drilling and that will catch any drill dust and that will save a lot of cleaning up later on. And I've just looked at this and I think I can actually use the bottom hole still. So I'm just going to put that screw in there and we're just going to see if we can get away with using the bottom hole. And yes, it looks like we can. So we've been quite lucky there. So we're going to use the bottom hole on this bracket and then we just need to drill two new holes up at the top. Before we drill the other two holes, we need to ensure that this bracket is deadly straight. So we're going to use a small level that's actually magnetic 
and now that bracket is completely straight there. So we just need to mark those two holes. So I'm just going to hold the bracket there and I'm just going to spot through these two holes. And I've now got a sufficient mark at the back of there that I can see so I can now remove the plate and drill the holes. This drill bit is the correct size for the plugs that we are using. So I'm now just going to put two holes in there deep enough for the plugs. And you may have noticed that that went in there extremely easily because this is actually a plasterboard wall that's been direct bonded to a solid brick wall. And you may have noticed that this wall is extremely soft. If that had been a tough brick I would have been using an SDS drill on Amor Action. So we can now insert the plugs. And that's a dirty bit over with, so we can now remove the actual envelope from the wall. So I've now knocked the two wall plugs in so that they're flush with the surface. And we can now proceed to fix the bracket in position. So I've now put all three screws in the bracket and we can now level that off before we actually nip them up in the correct position. So you can now see that the bracket is perfectly level where it is. You'll notice that there's a terminal block on here but we're not actually going to use that. We're going to use the one supplied because this one is actually heat resistant and I'm not entirely sure that that one is. So we're just going to swap that over. So we're now ready to connect up the wires to the terminal block. So we're going to start off with the earth. And then the neutral. and then they're live. Once you've connected those up, you need to pull each one and ensure that it's terminated correctly into the terminal block. And I'm now just gonna wrap some insulation tape around the terminal block. I wouldn't normally do this, but it recommends you do it in the instructions, so I'm going to do it. Once we've done that, we can then lift the light up into position. And then fit the two retaining screws on top. I'm now going to fit this allergen capsule lamp into the fitting. When you do this, it's highly important that you don't actually touch the lamp itself. If you touch the actual glass on that lamp, your grease from your fingers will make it burn out quickly. For that reason, I've actually got it in the plastic wrapper. I've just cut the end off with the scissors which will allow me to insert that into the fitting.
Now all I need to do is insert the glass part that fits at the bottom of the fitting. So that is that one wall light completed. We just need to repeat the process on the other side. So that's it, that's how easy it is to change a couple of wall lights. It probably took about 20 minutes, so it's not a long job, it's quite an easy job to do.